I always want to eat. And I know my eating's more out of control than it's ever been, and that I'm getting to a breaking point. But I've tried to stop and I can't, and I don't know what to do. You want me to make four patties? Can you do six? Yeah, I got enough to do eight. How many you want? Why don't you do eight? All right. If I didn't have my mom's help, I know I'd be on my own during the day and wouldn't be able to take care of myself, so I'm thankful for her help. But the one change I'm happy about in our relationship is that my mom is no longer trying to get me to lose weight or eat better. I think a part of her likes some of the food I eat, and I feel like eating is a time where we bond, and it's the one thing that we can do to spend time together. Holly and I have had conversations about eating, dieting, and I know I'm an accommodator, but she is hungry all the time. And the idea of her being hungry just eats me up. So to keep her happy, I spoil her rotten. Holly has a big appetite. It's like she can't get the food into her mouth fast enough. And I worry about Holly because it's just not healthy being that big. Don't want to lose her. Nobody's supposed to have to bury their children. My parents and me have dinner, but that meal is just the start of my dinner. Because Ray has to work late, he comes home after we're finished. And he gets fast food on the way home for both of us. So once I've finished eating with my family, I go and get ready for bed. And then me and Ray will eat together before I go to sleep. I got the food, sweetie. By the end of the day, I know I've eaten a lot. I've had probably four or five meals and a whole lot of snacks. And I'd keep eating if I could, because I'm never full and I always want to eat. And I know my eating's more out of control than it's ever been, and that I'm getting to a breaking point. But I've tried to stop and I can't, and I don't know what to do. And I'm scared because I know I can't keep going much longer. And I'm gonna have a heart attack or something in my body will just hit this wall and I'm gonna die. I'm very close to the end of my rope. I know it and my whole family knows it. It's been about a month since my appointment with Dr. Now. I've been working on making the changes I need to do his diet and exercise to get my stamina up like I need. And I'm trying to rely less on the wheelchair and move around more. And I feel like I'm making progress and that I'm looking a little smaller. I just really hope it's enough because I'm sacrificing a lot and working really hard to do this. Oh, no. Yep, I'll start shopping the lettuce. Are you going to have salad, too, or is it just me? Uh, just you. I think I'm going to have a sandwich. OK. The hardest part of all this is the diet. It's been difficult giving up the food I love and crave and that makes me feel good, and I'm really struggling with that. Food has been what's there for me, and it's been what's comforted me my whole life. So completely changing that instantly just isn't easy at all. And what makes it even harder is that my family decided they weren't going to do the diet with me. Ray and my mom are still eating what they want. And having some of that temptation around me makes it even harder. So I feel really lonely and some days even depressed. But I know how important it is for me to do this. So I'm trying to just take it a day at a time and focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. Boy, that sandwich looks a lot better than the salad does. I would have to agree. <laughs> I have one month before my follow-up appointment with Dr. Now, and I know if I don't get to where I need by then and I fail, then I'm not gonna get weight loss surgery and the help I need. And I know that's my only chance to turn my life around. 
When I start my day, I can't wait to start eating. OK, sweetie, I'm going to send it up. All righty. My dad will make me a plate and send it up to me so I don't have to go downstairs again until breakfast. Nikki has always had problems with her food addiction. There were many times that I would talk to her about her eating habits, but Nikki has told me food is one thing I have control over. It hurts my feelings when you talk to me about it. Finally, I'd say, okay, you know what? Nikki, I don't care. So I just give her what she wants. I know I overeat, but food makes me happy. And I feel the most at ease with my eating when I'm eating by myself. Because there's no one there to judge me. That's my happy place. We noticed at a very young age that Nikki wanted what she wanted, and she wanted it then. She learned how to work us pretty quickly. In many ways, we wait on Nikki like you would an invalid. And I've asked myself so many times, what is the difference between enabling and helping? When am I enabling her, and when am I helping her? I don't really know the answer. I just know that I'm losing my daughter a pound at a time because she has become a different person in many respects than my vivacious, energetic daughter. And that, that's, just, that's just heartbreaking. It's been a tough few weeks. When we got home from seeing the doctor, the first thing we did was get rid of the food that was not on the diet. It was really hard to let some of that go. I've really had to take it a meal at a time, because if I think about it, I'll get totally overwhelmed. Start eating, y'all are already done. <laughs> well, yeah, before you eat it, figure out how many calories. Mine came to 345. All right, Dad, what did your calories come to? It came to 274 calories. No. Did you have a tostada? Oh, I forgot the tostada. Yeah, OK. That's <laughs> what I was to say. <laughs> I would say when the ice cream man pulls up, it's the best part of my day. The treats make it worth it for me to push myself to walk outside. And that's my exercise for the day. What can I get for you today? Please, what's going on? All right. Let me get three sodas. Three sodas? Two bags of hot fun. Two bags of hot fun. A nutty butter. All right. A strawberry shortcake. All right. An ice cream sandwich. Two fudge round pies. All right. And oh, uh, another nutty butter, a plain nutty butter. OK. All right, give me a minute. <sighs> ice cream is one of my favorites. All righty. Make sure you're all right now. Appreciate you. All right. So that's how I start my breakfast, with the ice cream. And it starts to make my day get better at that point. But the ice cream and the snacks are just the start. It's good, but I get hungrier as I eat it. You know, I need something bigger. So what I like to get for my first meal is pizza, usually. I like pizza a lot, and I eat a lot of pizza. So I order that, and I save some of the snacks for later. tell myself, you don't got to eat it if you don't want it. But when I get it, I usually end up eating it all at once. 
So I can eat two full pieces with two orders of wings and an order of cheese bread. But after I finish, you know I'm still hungry. And I start thinking about what I'm gonna have next. Because food is what's there for me and always has been there for me to make me feel better since I was very young. This has all been very hard for me, but my mom is helping me keep on track and helping motivate me. But it's a lot, because I'm not eating nothing I like, and I feel like I don't have a moment to rest. Because if I stop, she on me. Don't put no lot of oil in that pan either. You don't need but a little bit. You through cooking? Yeah. Shirt down. You want some? No. I want to add more flavor in most of this stuff, but the only thing I can use is pepper. But I wish I could put my salt and butter in it to help with the taste. But I'm restricted with the diet to only a small amount of options. So that is not as fun when it comes to food. The grocery store, it sucks. Just finding a trolley that I could sit in. It's like, whew, give me a minute. I don't know how that's going to fit. This isn't going to work. You're going to have to get up and push a cart. I can't. You got to push a cart, Mark. That's all you can do. By the time we are inside the store, both of my knees are usually throbbing. And it just, it sucks. I can't live like this much longer. And I know if something doesn't change, I don't have long. I rode the scooter behind him so that he could take a break. All right, you need to sit? Yeah. I feel horrible for him. You know, I was always told that people in China are starving to death, so you finish your meal. But I am ridden with a lot of guilt because of the way that Mark is right now. I know that I've enabled Mark over the years, so I try not to enable him any longer. They got ice cream down there? Just one of those or two? But two. I still do so often. It's very hard for me to break the bad habits. I want Mark to be healthy. We can't live this life. We can't continue to live this life. I really believe in him, but uh, it's a hard road. I'm definitely at a crossroads right now. You know what I mean? It's, it's urgent now. Got real. Mark, you're gonna have asparagus, right? Yes, please. Mark can manipulate me and Rocky both for the food. Mostly me, because I feel so darn sorry for him. Move your chair closer, Mark. Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> we are not making Mark pay any rent, any utilities, nothing. We are not holding him accountable, because Mark basically has spent all his money on food. Are you hungry? Maybe a little bit, but I don't know. You ready to eat a little bit of something, something? I don't know, no, the doctor looking at me and all. Doctor's always looking at you. Yeah. Large stuffed crust? A pizza? No, how about a little egg and cheese burrito? Well, that's a nice consolation we'll slap price. in a couple little turkey pepperonis. I know, right? Yeah, Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. It's those low carb tortillas, yes, right? Yes, yes. Don't be so paranoid, yes. Thank you, Mom. All right. All right, perfect, 28 grams. I still don't think I'm gonna come close to my 1,200, Mom. No. All right, Mark, it's just gonna be a little bit simple today. Perfect. All right, I didn't heat the tortilla either. 
Is that okay? Yeah. You're good, Ma. Thank you. I wouldn't be the successful that I have been right now without the support that I have of the people around me. The success that I do have is a big testament to them. My mom will go grocery shopping and there's no junk in the house. And just the words of encouragement, like, hey, you're doing great, I'm proud of you. So it's, it's been really cool. Thank you, I'm gonna go home. Walk careful. Have a good day, we'll talk you just, later. You just walk anymore and you don't even realize it. Oh, I realize it. I'm not kidding, Mark, you just, you oh, walked I'm out. I'm not kidding either, I realize it. You do? <laughs> I mean, I called April in tears. I'm not kidding. Why? Just, is it that bad? No, Mark. You just walked and you picked up the chair like it was no no big deal. But it was it was unbelievable, you know? It was just, I couldn't believe it. Well, uh -huh. wait till you see how quick I go home now. Peace out, Ma. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Bye.